morning guys and welcome to vlogmas day 14 it's monday today and i can't believe we're already two weeks into vlogmas i hope you guys have been enjoying it so far and even if you're like binging it on the weekend i hope you guys are still enjoying it uh today is monday and usually mondays are my like clean day my tidy around the house sort of my laid back day because usually my weekends are full on and on mondays i like to kind of take it easy a bit clean not do makeup so this is probably what i'm gonna look like all day uh and just do odds and bits around the house and things that i need to do like paperwork and stuff like that so i don't know how much filming we're gonna get done i'll try and chit chat with you guys here and there so <laughs> because it is vlogmas and we are filming every day i did receive my santa gift which i'm not opening from my curvy au group that i'm in um he was in like an express post so i just took that out and then i thought how am i gonna know what this is and then i i just checked the number and this is what it is so i will open it on christmas because i like to open up all my gifts on christmas day uh it's just that excitement of like opening it all up so i'm excited about that i had sent mine i haven't received anything my person got it, and i hope they did because it's been like a week i think i did it last monday and i fingers crossed i hope they have got it i probably should have also sent my express post because that way you do get a tracking number sometimes i just don't think <laughs> uh so that's what um has happened this morning i also um i went to the supermarket because um it's angus's birthday on thursday and um i'm making him a cake for his birthday however the supermarket didn't have the cake mix that i wanted uh, we just want to try out these new ones and um they only had chocolate but i want to get the regular sponge cake and um i'm got, i got these pudding mixes from the like bulk and grocery store yesterday so i'm gonna put them in the cake and some caramel so we'll see how it works so we're doing that on thursday so keep an eye out on thursday for that but whilst i was there i picked up one of these pimple patches i keep forgetting because um i wanted to try those uh, better pimple patches with like from mecca or sephora but i keep forgetting to pick one up and my kate somerville has like literally dried down you know that pink stuff that's the best thing so i picked up one of these from woolies and i thought let's give it a go and see since i'm doing no makeup today uh let's try it out Let, let's go to the bathroom and we'll put it on and we'll see what happens <laughs> It literally just started raining. Um, it wasn't raining. I just hung my clothes out, but luckily they're under shelter. But sometimes I feel like when it's windy and it rains, they still get wet. So hopefully they'll dry. Okay, so let's try this. So this brand is what? Skin Control or Pimple Patch? I don't know. It's been trademark. Cleanse. 30, there's 36 patches. Oh, that's good. All right, so what do we need to do? Clean the area and apply the patch and wait. Oh, Okay. Let's have a look and see what they are. It said, I think it says it's got different um, sizes. Has anyone tried any of these? Because I have not. I've seen like some other YouTubers try them out. It smells like tea tree oil. My hands are clean, but I, um, I might need to re just wipe down the um, pimple area. All right, so this is what you get. And... okay so they look like that and i guess they're see-through so that way it doesn't come up on your skin all right um how, let me see the size of it let's clean this up and we'll pop one on i'm just going to use a bit of toner to wipe it down so i got i got one there and then i got a huge one here on my neck so let's do the neck one first i'll use one of these like big ones all right my mom's heading out the door <laughs> Her friend is taking her to get a manicure and a pedicure today for it's a her Christmas gift. Oh wait. I think I need the mirror. Okay, as you can see, I popped that on there. I've got a couple here too. I don't know, it's like I'm thinking it's hormonal, you know how it is. I've been feeling like teary lately for no particular reason. Uh, so it's just hormones. All right, now, you would think I was in my early 20s or something. All right, next, now let's get this one here. Okay, can you guys see that? And I popped that one there, pop one on there. So from far, you definitely can't tell, but I can feel it. And I guess if you look at me close up, but you guys won't be looking at me that close all today, will you? Uh, we'll see what happens, probably nothing, but 
uh, give it a go because they're driving me insane. <laughs> All right, so I am going to have a little bit of breakfast. Let's have some breakfast now before we start the day with the cleaning stuff. I just realized that these ones say AM and these ones say PM. Um, maybe because they're bigger, so I happen to pop on a PM one down here, which is fine because that never gets any sun. And I put the AM one here, and it says to have it on for six hours. So I guess we'll see later on. <laughs> coffee and I've got that dose and co creamer I did put in a touch of peppermint so it tastes really good I really like that I think in the past maybe I was putting too much peppermint so I was having a strong peppermint taste now I put a touch really good all right and I made some eggs and some avocado on bread I really wanted to try the avocado with honey, so I've got that on one of these bits because I didn't put it on both in case I didn't like it. I also don't even know when I was recording when I wasn't, and I should have just left the record button on the whole time, but I like to like move the camera around, so I press like pause, then I move the camera. And then I don't know if you recorded, but one of my eggs had two yolks, and I don't think I've ever had that before, so I was very impressed by that, but now I don't think it was recording when that happened. But anyway... Let me try. Have you guys tried avocado and honey? Do you guys actually eat that right now? I usually like the avocado with some feta cheese, but I don't have any upstairs and I couldn't be bothered going to see if my mum has any. So let's give this a go. I like it. I pleasantly surprised. I do like this. The avocado was a little bit hard, so it didn't spread that well, but actually do like it okay could be a new thing for me i guess i can have the egg whites with the other toast that doesn't have um the honey on it but i'll have this so i'm gonna have my breakfast i'm just gonna see if there's any comments from you guys on my video to respond to and then we're gonna do we're gonna put the rug back because the rug has dried uh, i gotta put it back there and then i gotta see if it's because last time when i washed it, it was probably like was it this time last year when my mum did a big wash? Like normally I do like spot cleans and stuff. And every summer my mum does like a huge wash like outside. Um, I don't know what she does but she's like obsessed with stuff like that. But it, it just smelled so bad. And I left it out in the sun for like two weeks and it still smelled. And I had to put all these like carpet cleaner stuff on top and fragrant stuff. Finally got it to be normal again. So I don't know now. We've had it for a few weeks out there. We'll see what happens if I have to go buy all that stuff again because I'm very triggered by smells. Like I can smell things a mile away so I'm very triggered by it. And I don't really want to invest in a new rug. Um, I just had a look at it and it doesn't feel soft or fluffy or anything. I don't think these rugs are designed for washing. <laughs> they're probably like dry clean or something only but they're cheapo. So like I don't want to spend a big deal of money like washing something that's not even worth that much. Um, it's probably like a wash and go. Like my sister's gotten rid of hers and she said she'll just buy a new one next winter. So we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll try it later and we'll see how we go. So I'll have my breakfast now and I'll catch up with you guys a little later. It's time to get the rug, so I've got to move the stuff from here. However, somebody's sleeping on the table. So peaceful, he's so peaceful. Let me show you guys, he's so cute. Look at him, he looks so cute. He loves to sleep under the table. I think it's where he feels safest. Chiptron, mommy. Mommy. Mommy precious. Maybe we have to wait. <laughs> he's so cute. leave it here for now I mean I don't mind it being here because when I do like my dressing stuff at least I have the rug everywhere and Chippy's got all this area um, 
but I guess a rug is meant to stay under a table. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. We'll think about it. I might keep it here. I might not. We'll leave it for now. I'll put Chop Chippy's bed there. We'll see how we're feeling. But you know what I was thinking? Uh, let's go open up um, our advent calendar. Let's go see what's in that. Okay, at least it stops raining. It's a little bit glary, but it stopped raining. All right, let's have a look and see what we have today. Today is Vlogmas Day 14. Let's open this guy up. There is a cleansing balm. Okay, let's have a look. So it's this brand Glow Lab. And it's a bump to oil cleanser, melts away your makeup, look like this. You know, actually, I haven't tried a cleansing balm. I know people are like raving on about it now. For now, I still sort of use um, my face halo, I put a bit of micellar water on it, or I have um, a Lancome uh, makeup remover, so I use that, and then my cleanser. So I'm happy to give this go a go, because people do rave on about these balms, so I want to see if they're well worth uh, getting the money, because I guess... Um, it saves people from using wipes. People don't like to use wipes anymore like we're trying to save the environment I still do have wipes because there are some nights where I'm just like I can't be bothered And I feel like if I'm gonna use a cleansing balm I can just use anything else if I'm gonna be in the bathroom taking off my makeup and washing my face like I don't even need a balm <laughs> like I'll just use whatever so um, we'll see we'll give this a go and see how it works uh, Yeah, so that's that's this for now um, I still have a little bit more tidying up to do, so I'll catch up with you guys a little later. I'm back guys, and I rested a little bit. I uh, watched a couple of YouTube videos, and then I realized that... Well, I watched one of those Christmas shows on Netflix now. The name escapes me and I probably could turn on the TV and find it. But it's one of those Christmas ones where the guy comes and um, him and his team, they do the whole like decorations for the house. And in one of them, he did um, like, there were like um, dough ornaments, uh, sold dough ornaments. And you put like, you know, your child's hand or in my case, your doggy's footprint into the dough. You bake it and then it's a Christmas ornament. And I thought, let's just do it today. Easy enough. I've got other crafts that I can do the other days because I want to do some like uh, decoration stuff the other days. So let's do this. Let's give it a try. I've never done this before. <laughs> I had the recipe on there, but I think it makes like a dozen and that's too many. I don't need that many. I only want maybe three. Um, four at the max in case they go wrong. Uh, one for my tree for sure. If the others work out, I'll put one on my mum's and one on my sister's tree. So I've got, so the rest of it is just like flour, water and salt. And you need the salt so it like preserves. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use a cup to like cut the cookie doughs. So I've got here um, about a quarter of a cup of the salt so i'm going to mix the salt and the flour together so i'll probably do about half a cup of the flour since i'm only making a few and i'm just using regular flour all oh, that salt is getting in my mouth like it's a lot of salt lucky we're not eating this because you know we're not going to take that much care because we're just going to make it okay so it doesn't matter how it tastes as long as it works out and we can preserve it to keep it so i've got about half a cup um of the flour there and then i've just got a bit of hot water oh it says to make it well i looked up so many recipes and they had the exact same ingredients but um the portion sizes differed and i think they'll all work in the end so we'll try this and i'll use my my straw <laughs> all right so just stirring that up so I've preheated the oven to 150 degrees Celsius. So it's meant to cook on low, maybe about half an hour or so, but we'll, we'll be checking it. Put on the table here, because then my east table's easy to clean up afterwards. And I'm just gonna knead it a little bit. I don't have a rolling pin, so I'll see how we go. I'm going to be enjoying the bit where Chip is gonna put his paw print in. That's the whole point of these. So I want it for my little memory keepsake ornament. I'm going to use my cup as a rolling pin. So I don't really want them to be chunky, but I don't want them to be too thin either. 
You stay here, please, because I'm going to need you. All right. Let's try and cut some shapes out. That's one. Two. Three. Four. I feel like the second lot I may, they're a little bit ch like thicker, which might work better than the thinner ones, but we'll just give them a go and see. I'll see how many I can get this guy. Let me wash my hands to put his hands in. He said, hello to everybody. Who do we have here? We have Chippy. I think he's like, what is going on? Hello, mommy. Okay, mommy, how are we going to do this? I need to get your paw print. Maybe I should have got you on a chair. Hello. Hello. Lucky this is not food. <laughs> okay. Mommy? Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? You give my your hand to mama? Okay. Pull print down. Oh, you worked. <laughs> so cute. Okay, sweetie. Another one. Thank you. Thank you. I know you have no idea what's going on. You're like, leave me alone. Mama, oh, so cute. Okay. That's our children, please. Good boy, good boy. Mommy will give you a treat after this. Let's wipe your balls down. Thank you, sweetheart. A for effort. Who wants a treat now? Would you like a treat? Who wants a snack? Good boy. There you go. <laughs> so we managed to get Chippy's paw print. I don't know how well, I guess you can kind of tell, but I will paint them later. So now what I need to do is cut in the hole where we're going to put the little ornament in. So I have to do that. I'm going to use the straw for that. So then fingers crossed these turn out okay. They kind of look like stars. Chip is, I don't even know which is the right way, which isn't. I also have two Bare ones, I guess, with no paw print. I'll pop them in there because we could also just paint them or decorate them somehow just for the fun of it. All right, I'm going to pop these in the oven now and I'll catch you guys when they're baked. cookies um, I've let them why am I always at a loss for words uh, <laughs> I've let them cool down and I feel like they're hard I don't know how dried out they're supposed to be like they're pretty hard I'm just gonna put the plain ones the ones with nothing aside so we're gonna give it a go okay uh, in the spirit of let's do my tree first um i'm thinking uh for my tree i would like red so i've got some red paint here i've just got my little paint brush and okay chippy i'm sure you have four fingers and a thumb right okay one two three let's give it a go let's see how this is gonna work and i'll see so i'm just gonna paint where his paw print is, where it's indented, so that way you can see it. Guess he looks like that. That looks like a paw print. I mean, it is where Chip. I know that Chippy indented it in there. I guess you could possibly paint an indent, but that is little Chippy's. I won't do his nails, but that's his little paw print. And I've got a little bit of red glitter that I also want to put on there. So that way, it sparkles. I don't know if you can see the glitter. It is there. I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I want to put 2020 on the back so we know the year that we did it. I'm going to go ahead and now do uh, a, a 
Should I do? I'll do a gold one for my mum's and a blue one for my sister's. <laughs> Okay guys, it's a few hours later and we've had to wait for them to dry a little bit. Um, my neighbours next door have little kids and they're playing outside so Chippy is um, not liking the noise I guess. So, are you right there mister? Are we okay? Are we good? They're okay mommy, they're just kids sweetie. Okay, so I thought I would show you what they look like. There's my one. There's the one for my sisters. My mum's one is still drying, but that's what her one looks like. And then on the back, I've just written Chippy 2020. I'll bring the camera down and show you guys a little bit close up. I haven't really done much with the others. I didn't really know what to do. I might put them aside and do something another day. Here's another like red one that maybe I could use that as well. Uh, but it's mainly them three that I have. And that's it for today guys i'll bring you i'll bring you down to show you a little bit closer and that'll be it for today i've just got to collect my clothes because it's getting late now probably have some dinner and have a relaxing evening so i will catch you guys tomorrow thank you for watching see you